The final funeral rites have been held for the late fashion icon Kofi Ansa. The eighth fashion designer's funeral was characterized by a catwalk session and musical performances. It was a moment of pain for the family, friends, fashionistas, and well-wishers of the late Kofi Ansa. The gathering was at the forecourt of the State House, where everyone got the chance to pay their last respect for their fashion icon. <laughs> Depicting what he represented during his lifetime, there was a catwalk to showcase his collections. Some loved ones shared fond memories of the late Kofi Ansa. When I decided to um, establish 1957, he's one of the first people I told, and he was like, can you do this? He's always known me as an artist, but his biggest problem was my choice of name for my clothing line, 1957, because in his opinion, it represents something very major beyond any single individual in Ghana. It's actually beyond Ghana. It represents liberation for the entire black race, and that's how deep Kofi Asa thinks. I'd remember Kofi, uh, apart from his great sense of humor and wit and intelligence, uh, he, was, he was like a teacher. He was more of a headmaster. Uh, he was absolutely perfect. Uh, in terms of his craft he, he and he, he could not tolerate anything that was not properly sewn properly cut wasn't symmetrical so i think basically he was the yardstick i really don't know what to say i just know that we've lost a great son of the land and a good person um we are the worst for it i'm gonna miss him but uh, it also tells us that we should number our days and uh we should love each other and there should be peace everywhere because you never know where you're going. Piansa was a very generous person. Uh, he was very friendly, easily approached. Uh, and of course, we all know of his creative genius uh, and the fact that uh, he has left behind such a legacy of his works. It's itself a testimony to the fact that long after a person has gone, he can survive through his work. Veteran musicians Akosie Japon and Jedubli Ambule paid tribute to him through their songs. Yeah. 